Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Akhtaru Zaman. And today we are going to learn how to do two way ANOVA in SPSS. In fact, this is an inferential statistical test. Two way ANOVA deals with two independent variables and one dependent variable. However, in one way ANOVA, there is only one independent variable and one dependent variable. The independent variables are usually classified into a number of groups for making comparisons in both the cases. In this particular case, we have to simultaneously study the impact of two experimental, which is independent variables, each having two or more levels, characteristics or classifications, and hence we have to carry out the two-way analysis of variance. Let's go through an example. A researcher wants to know whether teaching methods have different effects on males or females. He takes three groups of students randomly selected from a class ensuring equal number of male and female students in each group. These three groups are taught by the same teacher in the same school but using three different teaching methods. At the end of the session, all the groups are tested through an achievement test by the teacher. The test scores are kept in a file named Two-Way ANOVA. Considering the above scenario, now we are going to test the null hypothesis. Here, the null hypothesis is neither the teaching method nor the gender of the student has anything to do with the achievement of the students at 0 0.05 level of significance. Let's see the SPSS data editor window at the screen. Now go to file, then open data, and then data file, and open the file named two way ANOVA in the SPSS data editor. Let's see the variable view of the data. There are three variables method, gender, and score. In the values column, method variable is classified as 1 for lecture, 2 for demonstration, 3 for discussion, and gender variable is categorized as 1 for male and 2 for female. Go back to the data view of the SPSS data editor. You see the variables at the top of each column and also see the scores of 48 students with respect to their gender and different methods of teaching they are taught. The pattern of data view is different from the usual one. You can change the data view pattern by clicking the value labels icon which is third from the right at the toolbar just below the menu bar. Now go to the analyze menu then general linear model then univariate. Take the score of the test in the dependent list and method of teaching and gender of the student together in the fixed factor field. Click the post hoc button and take method into post hoc tests for field and select two key if homogeneity of variances exist and games howl test if homogeneity of variances do not exist to see which groups are causing the main difference if the null hypothesis is rejected. Now click continue. Also click the options button and take method gender and method into gender into the display means for field. Now select descriptive and homogeneity of variance test and specify the significance level 0.05 which is already there as default value. Click continue and then press OK. See the output at the screen. The mean and standard deviation of the scores for lecture, demonstration and discussion method are shown in the table descriptive statistics. In the table Levin's test of equality, the SIG value is 0.223 which is in fact the SIG value for homogeneity of variances test. Let's see the most important table which is 
tests of between subjects effects. In this table, there are different sig values which we are interested only in three sig values, which are 0 0.000 for method, 0 0.451 for gender, and again 0 0.000 for both method and gender. For testing the hypothesis, SPSS needs only the sig value to be compared with 0 0.05. Remember, the sig value generated by SPSS and this level of significance is completely different. In SPSS interpretation, sig value greater than 0 0.05 means acceptance of the null hypothesis. And on the other hand, sig value less than 0 0.05 means rejection of the null hypothesis. In case of homogeneity of variances test, sig value 0.223 is greater than 0 0.05, which implies the null hypothesis there is no difference between variances of the groups is not rejected. It implies that the variances are approximately equal. Where, on the other hand, in case of method, the sig value 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05, which implies the null hypothesis is rejected, which means research hypothesis is accepted. So, the teaching methods have significant effect on the achievement of the student groups, and this effect cannot be attributed to chance factor. In case of gender, the sig value 0.451 is greater than 0 0.05, which implies the null hypothesis is not rejected. So, gender of the students has no significant effect on the achievement of the student's group. In case of both method and gender, the sig value 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05, which implies the null hypothesis is rejected, which means research hypothesis is accepted. So, the teaching methods as well as gender of the students have significant effect on the overall achievement of the students group. The details of it are described in chapter 10 of the book. Let's see the table post hoc test multiple comparison. As in case of method, the null hypothesis is rejected. That means there is an effect of teaching method on the achievement of the students. But this result do not tell us which methods are responsible for defect, which means for the mean difference actually. So, we need the post hoc test results to verify this. The post hoc test depends on the homogeneity of variances. As the variances are approximately equal, the two key tests can be interpreted. If homogeneity of variances do not exist, games whole test can be interpreted. It is observed in the two key test results that discussion method is mostly causing the mean difference by counting the number of asterisk, which denotes the mean difference between the two methods is significant. Hope you have understood the two-way ANOVA. Now you can practice yourself on different data set to gain better understanding. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yasnani saying you goodbye.